Hi, my name is Fredrik Noren, and I'm here today to show you two different worlds that are built in Pixling World, which is a game that I'm developing. So Pixling World is an evolution simulator uh, where you have these little Pixlings. And you as a player, you define environments or worlds for these Pixlings, and then you let them out. And then they uh, have little artificial brains inside of them, artificial neural networks. And each time they uh, reproduce, those brains are slightly changed. Uh, and then from there on, it's just natural selection and evolution. Uh, whoever uh, is the best fit to survive in an environment is going to spread more and more in that environment. Uh, and you're going to see that behavior spread spread across the world. Uh, there are no goals for the Pixlings. It's all about just natural selection and, and uh, regular evolution. The reason I'm calling it a large scale or a massive evolution simulator is because you can run really big simulations. Uh, the largest ones I've run have been with over 1.5 million pixelings running at up to 60 uh, updates per second. So you can have really, really big uh, simulations in this. So let's take a look at the first world that I've built. So in this first world we have pixelings and then we have apples and then around the apples are kind of the smell of apples that enables pixelings to find them. And in this world uh, the pixelings are all used competing for apples. So when I start the simulation, when I started this simulation, they were actually not able to find apples at all very well. But over time, as they're competing and the ones that are actually a little bit better at finding apples become uh, more uh, abundant and then they spread more and more. And eventually you end up with these uh, pixlings that have evolved to really be good at finding apples. And you can kind of see that they are uh, seeking, seeking these apples out really quickly now. Um, but again, the rules of this simulation are very simple. I'm just spawning apples, and then whenever a pixling is over the apple, I'm allowing them to split into two, uh, and then I'm removing the apple. So there's nothing... I can actually show you the rules here. Uh, there's a rule for the pixlings to be able to walk around. There's a rule for uh, pixlings to reproduce, so that when they are on top of an apple, I'm going to remove the apple and then split the pixling. And then there's a rule for them to uh, age so that they don't live forever. But there's nothing in the rules of this world that enable them to find apples that's uh, completely evolved. This uh, second world is a lot more complex. And in this world, you have uh, this grass here, the green grass in the background. You have water, and then you have uh, this. The grass can only grow up to a certain height, so you can see rock behind it here. And the rules for the pixlings are a lot more complex as well. Uh, for instance, they can eat from the grass and then use the energy that they gain from eating from the grass to uh, reproduce. So we can see, uh, we can zoom out here a little bit and see a lot of different behaviors from the pixlings. So ones over here seem to, to have mostly been moving around and eating from, from the grass. Um, and actually you can see these clouds here. Let's, let's speed this up and you can actually see them move around. Uh, whenever the clouds are over the grass, the grass is going to grow faster. Uh, but then you also have these different behaviors. These ones are kind of clustering up. And uh, if we change the visual visualization here to see, uh, let's slow this down a little bit. So we can actually see here that they are uh, carrying water from the water up on, on to the ground and then dropping the water to uh, increase the speed that the grass is growing. So they're kind of uh, these more self-sustaining species. Uh, and let's see if we can find some other interesting behaviors. So all of these environments uh, in, in this world are actually defined by me as a player. Um, and we can hide hide them here to make it easier for me to visualize and see, see different behaviors. So it seems like this guy over here is uh, trying to fight anyone that is coming close to him. Uh, let's see if we can find some more interesting behaviors. Uh, let's start with speeding this up a bit. And then I'm going to hide all the, uh, vector, all the pixels for now. So it seems like up here around, there is some fighting going on. Um, yeah, it seems like these guys are kind of fighting in between each other for some reason. Um, and let's see what else we can actually find. There are a lot of different ways to visualize things. We can also see this kind of heat map, uh, which makes it easier to just find the, the pixelings. Uh, but again, all of the environments in this world are actually defined by me as a player. So I define the grass, the clouds, the rock, uh, the temperature um, layer and the water. Uh, all of this is defined by me as a player. Um, so that's kind of a pixing world for you. Uh, it is now in an alpha stage. So I'm looking for more people that are interested in trying it out. 
Uh, if you are curious about uh, trying to create some worlds and see what kind of pixlings you can evolve, uh, then go to pixling.world to sign up for the alpha or follow the link in the description below. Thank you very much for listening.